What's going on everybody? This is a massive update to my original 5 minute guide for cloud which I've been meaning to do since I've started playing much more competitively myself. This is going to be a long video going into everything with cloud in much more detail than last time. This guide is aimed to help any cloud from beginner all the way to a high level with the character. Cloud is my main so he's the only character I feel fully confident I know his strengths and weaknesses as well as I can at this point. So strap in, it's going to be a long one. Going into Cloud's basic attacks, he has A. Standard 3 hit combo. This attack has its uses because the final hit knocks the opponent down and sets up for a tech chase opportunity, which can lead to a dash attack or a cross slash for some good damage at low percentages. I like to use this move sometimes when I land a forward air for that reason. It can lead to a good damage combo if the opponent doesn't tech. Next up is Cloud's forward tilt. A quick, strong swipe of the buster sword. This is an attack you will see me throwing out all the time. It has enough range that if spaced well is safe on block, it's great for some quick damage, but this is also one of Cloud's best killing moves. At modest percentages near the edge, this can kill easily. That makes it one of Cloud's best tools because it is much safer than forward smash, but can still KO the opponent. For this reason, I recommend going tilt stick for the C stick with Cloud. If you're going to be matching out the move with this stick, you're much better off doing this instead of forward smash. Next up we have down tilt. This is a sliding attack. This is another move you'll see me throw out all the time depending on my spacing. There are a few reasons this move is great. The first and most important, it can slide under projectiles. This alone gives it great utility, but it also slides past the opponent if used from close enough. I love this because the mix-up this causes prevents an opponent from grabbing Cloud out of it, making it very hard to punish. Lastly, if you do hit with it, it pops the opponent up. The reason this is good is because Cloud operates very well from below the opponent. His up air isn't what it used to be, but if timed well, can definitely rack up some damage off landing this down tilt. The last of Cloud's tilt, the up tilt, similar to the forward tilt, is a very quick but powerful swipe upwards. This move is extremely hard to punish so it's a feel free to throw it out move a lot of the time. Similar to down tilt, this move sets up for air juggles very effectively but it can also combo into neutral air to quickly get the opponent away from you if you need to make some space. This move can also kill but not until the high 100s. Next up we have the dash attack. Cloud's dash attack can be a surprisingly effective tech chase and ledge trapping tool. It's highly unsafe to just throw out, but if you land the AAA and they don't tech, this is an excellent finisher for some good damage. As for ledge trapping, this is your punish if they do the attack getup. It's as easy as getting out of the way and running back in with this punish. It'll outprioritize any getup attack in the game. It can also kill around the 160 to 170% pretty consistently. Moving on to Cloud's smash attacks. Cloud's forward smash, the Cloud classic. Cloud's three hit forward smash is one of the most powerful killing moves in the game, killing almost any opponent around 80% from near the edge. However, it is also Cloud's least safe move. If you miss it, we'll leave Cloud wide open for a massive punish. I've lost many games due to getting trigger happy and throwing this out for the kill. Ever since I switched to tilt stick and replaced all my F smash spam with F tilt spam, things have gotten better. It does have its uses, however. If you can read an opponent's roll recovery, it's one of the best ways to punish. It can also be used to get the kill after a tech chase if your opponent fails to tech when getting knocked down. This is very risky, however, since it will leave you wide open if you miss. Try to get in, in the habit of uh, only using this move when you know it's going to hit. Cloud's Down Smash is a move I personally slept on until just recently. Cloud's Down Smash is secretly one of his best moves for ledge trapping. It's a two-hit smash attack that sends the opponent behind Cloud. The reason this is great for ledge trapping is if you can catch a roll, you can use this move to send the opponent right back off the platform off into their death. This isn't a move I generally throw out since like any other smash attack it's relatively unsafe but it has its uses to get its kills near the edge. Cloud's up smash. This is the least used of cloud smashes for me. It's the scoop. I only really use this against opponents with multiple jumps since they tend to end up right in its hitch box. Jigglypuff, Kirby, etc. They get hit by this all the time because they're often positioned right above cloud right where the up smash hits. The other use for this is sneaking and killing an opponent on a platform above Cloud. If they block it from up there, they can't punish it, and it can lead to a kill around the mid 100s. These are the best uses for this move, however, I do use up tilt in many of the same situations. Just try to get the combo into an aerial instead. Cloud's aerials get their own section because they're the most important part of his game. So starting with the neutral air. I remember in my last guide I said this was one of Cloud's best moves, and while that's still true, it is not as good as I initially thought. This is Cloud's get away from me move in the air. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it covers a decent amount of space. Great if you see an opponent jump in just to knock them away. Cloud has a pretty good coverage with this, however some characters do outrange Cloud's nair such as Ike and Shulk. Don't challenge their nair with Cloud's, it will simply lose. This move's real use comes as a pressuring tool since it is incredibly hard to punish on block. 
The ideal way to use this is to jump over the opponent, narrowing on the way down to get behind them. Doing it this way, there's next to nothing they can do to punish unless they have a very fast up B. Another Cloud, Marth, Lucina, for example. The last use for the Nair is edge guarding. I advocate for Cloud rarely leaving the stage to chase, but there are a few exceptions to the rule, and this is the move you want to use to edge guard. At higher percentages off stage, it's more than enough to secure the kill. Next up, we have Cloud's forward air, Cloud's best pressuring tool. Cloud's fair is the move I use more than any other. It's safe on block with the right timing, as long as you either block or spot dodge to avoid a punish or grab. It sets up for Cloud's bread and butter combo, the fair into cross slash, or the fair into AAA for the tech chase, which can lead to an even bigger combo, or even the F air into F tilt. These all work until about 40 to 50%. Cloud has many options to follow this up, which makes it an amazing pressuring tool. But it's also good in the air. It covers a huge area which the opponent has to either respect or get smacked in the face. It even spikes. If there is a downside, it's that with enough conditioning, the opponent can master the timing and perfect guard this very consistently. It's a good idea to mix up the jump ins with empty jumps, not to do anything, and go for a grab instead to keep the opponent guessing. Now we're moving on to what I think is Cloud's best killing move. The back air gets me what must be around 80% of my kills. It's incredibly fast, incredibly powerful, killing around 130%, and it's impossible to punish if spaced well. Any combo that works for the fair will also work with the bear at low percentages. This move is also another edge guarding tool for slightly different situations as the neutral air. While the nair is better from slightly below the stage, if the opponent is higher up off the stage, the bear is the best tool to finish them off. RARs, reverse aerial rushes, are essential for mid to high level cloud play. The back air is one of his strongest tools, so master RARs to master the bear. Cloud's down air is another excellent aerial that I throw out arguably more than I should. This move is what's called a pogo stick. Similar to Link's down air, it's this massive hitbox that just stays on screen for a long time and can be used for cross-up jump-ins, and return to the stage to cover ground below, or even just to throw out a neutral since it is surprisingly hard to punish. Another use this move has is its spike. When the sword is first pulled out, it spikes. The timing on this varies depending on the opponent, but it can be used in combination with a ledge grab to easily spike recovering opponents from below. The timing varies for every character in the game here, but it is something you can do and relatively safe to try. Up air, Cloud's juggling tool. This is the move that gets Cloud a lot of damage on heavies especially. Think of it like a brick break game. Cloud goes side to side and up airs falling opponents until they eventually land. While in no way a combo, this is a very hard thing to deal with because this move is very high priority and many characters do have trouble getting around it. It's a great way to rack up damage at lower percentages to set up the opponent into kill percentage. This also, in and of itself, can kill if you catch them high enough at higher percentages. This can also be used during recovery since it clips below the stage if timed right, often hitting an unsuspecting edge guarding opponent out of the way so Cloud can recover for free. Moving on to Cloud's specials. His neutral B, Blade Beam, is a surprisingly good projectile. It comes out relatively fast and is wide enough that it can easily stop most other projectiles. While not the best, it can be effective against some opponents with no projectiles and force them to come get you. Incineroar comes to mind as one opponent that this absolutely annoys. Otherwise, feel free to just throw this out from a distance. Its recovery is fast enough that no one will be able to punish from full screen, so fire at will. Side B. The Cross Slash is going to be your best friend. Similarly to Mart's Dancing Blade, it's a quick, multi-hit combo that does great damage. It's something you can throw out relatively freely, however, if they block the first hit, do not continue the combo or you will be punished. Cross Slash is best used to tech shape since its exceptional range does catch opponents when they don't expect it. It's also usually the best follow-up to pretty much any combo starter such as the fair and bear. Up B. Clem Hazards is a move I've fully turned around on. It's essentially Cloud's combo breaker. It's his fastest move, so if there's a gap in an opponent's combo, this will catch it. You'll see me throwing this out all the time, especially on Battlefield, because if I do it center stage with the platform above it, it is completely safe. It is also Cloud's best out of shield option. When blocking, there's no reason not to mash out the up B on an unsafe hit. Klim in and of itself does good damage as well, so if I land it, I can press the button again to bring the opponent back down to rack up some damage. Sadly, this is also Cloud's recovery move and his biggest weakness. It is among the most predictable and gimpable recoveries in the game. As well as the fact it does not get much horizontal distance, this is far and away his greatest weakness. To recover with Cloud, the best course of action is to generally air dodge toward the stage, get as close to the stage as possible before using Cloud's jump, then Klim Hazard. This will give you the most possible horizontal distance and save your second jump as long as possible in case there's a gimp attempt that we need to avoid. So down B is limit charge. So whenever you have a spare moment, you should be charging this up. Cloud's limit break is the thing that makes him. So the down B charges this meter, which when full, turns Cloud into a monster that enhances all his specials ludicrously. 
The catch is that it only lasts 15 seconds, so unlike the previous game, we need to use these limit break moves quickly or lose them. I did give limits their own section, so that's up next. So limit break in general increases Cloud's speed and makes him fall faster, but it also makes all his specials much better. Neutral B, surprisingly useful, Cloud's limit blade beam can do much more than meets the eye. First of all, it travels through most projectiles. I say most because while I don't have footage of it, I know there are one or two that do not stop it. However, things like Samus's missiles, beams, villager nonsense, and most importantly, Pikachu Pichu stuff, this move can catch opponents off guard very effectively and snatch a kill when they least expect it. However, be aware that it doesn't break other projectiles, so just make sure you don't get hit by that power beam coming through. The other use for this move is for edge guarding. I'll go into this more later, but you can essentially run off the stage and turn Cloud around and shoot it back at the stage to catch opponents recovering. This is especially effective against vertical recoveries like Marth, other Clouds, Ryu, Ken, etc. Side B. Limit Cross Slash is Cloud's best killing move, period. It kills very low around what Cloud's forward smash kills at, but without the extreme risk. It comes out unbelievably fast, and it can even be comboed into from a fair, just like standard cross slash. I like to use this against recovery, it comes out fast enough that it's entirely reaction. If they jump, I can jump and limit cross slash quickly. If they jump back, same thing. If they roll, same thing. The only recovery safe from limit cross slash is that stand up, and even then, if I mash it out with the shield damage, it's just another forward smash away from breaking. I also like to use this for air-to-air -air situations because Limit Cross Slash has a bit of a vortex effect where if used in the vicinity of an opponent, even if it's not particularly well aimed, it'll suck them in and do the max damage. It also out-prioritizes just about any other aerial in the game if timed right. So up B, Limit Clem Hazard is Cloud's best recovery move. I personally don't save it often to recover, however there are opponents who make it necessary. Any opponent that can easily gimp Cloud offstage make it almost essential to save Limit Break to recover, such as Sheik, Pit, Dark Pit, and Fox. These characters can all gimp Cloud fairly easily, and unless the kill can be guaranteed off another limit, it may be better to save Limit to recover. That's up to the player's judgment though. This is something I personally don't do very often, but I do believe it needs mentioning. The other use for Klim can be as a killing move. If an opponent is foolish enough to jump in on a Cloud with Limit Break within kill percentage, which for Limit Clem Hazard is about 150%, just mash it out of shield to secure the kill. So lastly of Cloud's basic moveset is Down B. When in Limit Break, Down B becomes Finishing Touch, which is a wide whirlwind. This can often be the secret weapon if used well. It kills around the 60%, but does next to no damage on its own. This is by far the best punish if you've seen an opponent with something, or even if on a stage with platforms, if you catch them with landing lag when they're above you. The hitbox is big enough to hit opponents on the platform or above, so you'll generally only really catch an opponent once with this, so try to make sure it kills when you do. So lastly, with Cloud's basic moves, we have throws. Cloud's throws are nothing particularly special. At zero, his down throw can combo into f tilt, but the rest are pretty standard. His up throw can kill over 200% if the match does get to that point, however. So keep that in mind as a pocket option. Okay, so now that we have all of his basic moves out of the way, let's answer the question, how do you really play Cloud? Well, to really understand Cloud, you have to understand his strengths and weaknesses. Strength. Cloud is strong, can kill at very low percentage and be safe while doing it. His range is above average, being a sword boy, he has higher priority than most of the cast. He's faster than he should be considering how big that sword is, so he can be played very safely. He also has an out of shield option, that being up B. Weaknesses. Recovery, recovery, recovery. Cloud's recovery alone is enough to prevent him from being a top tier character for me. Offensively, he has all the tools he needs to be amazing, but the fact that a simple flick off the stage is enough to end him definitely hurts. So in order to win with Cloud, we need to keep this weakness in mind. The first thing you need to do is win the neutral. Control the center of the stage. The most important tool to winning with Cloud is to simply avoid being put in a situation where you need to recover as long as possible. At all times, Cloud wants to control the center of the stage. This is the safest position for him to be in and do what he needs to do. This simple point will keep you alive much longer than if you have your back to the edge. You always want your opponents back against the edge, not Cloud. So the next most important thing is pressure. Cloud has some downright powerful aerials. Use these to jump in and pressure your opponent with combos and rack up as much damage as possible. 
fair, dare, nair, all three of these tools are excellent. Don't forget to mix in grabs as well to catch them off guard and keep them guessing as to what you're going to do next. Be as tricky as possible. Eventually, you'll land that hit, which will lead to a quick 40-50% combo, which at that point all takes is limit break cross slash near the edge to seal it. <laughs> Lastly, most importantly, do not chase. One thing that I struggle with is chasing my opponents off stage to guarantee the kill. This is not something Cloud excels at. There are very specific times to do this with Cloud and very specific characters to do it against, but 9 out of 10 times, chasing an opponent off stage can mean your own death. Cloud can ledge trap very efficiently and has little need to go off the stage. We will go over ledge trapping and edge guarding in the next section. Okay, so when it comes to fighting off recovering opponents, Cloud's edge game is in my opinion one of his greatest weaknesses, but his ledge trap game is very strong. There are three very specific instances to chase an opponent off stage. The first, which I'll show here, is an opponent about a low 30 degree angle off the stage coming in from the side, but not too low. This is the opportunity to nair. However, don't even attempt this against the Marth family or the Link family, since it can easily result in a stage spike. The other instance is when they're at a similar angle but above the stage. If you can make it to the middle, RAR B Air can easily finish off many, many opponents from there. Higher level players know this and will drop lower on purpose to avoid this, however, which brings me to my third edge guarding option, the B reverse with limit break. The way to do this is to run off the stage, jam the control stick to the opposite direction and let go, then press B. Doing this will cause Cloud to turn around and shoot the blade beam backwards which has a surprisingly long lingering hitbox which will catch any opponents with a vertical recovery. This is in my opinion the best thing to do against the Marths, Lynx, etc because worst case scenario, they tech it and survive, but 9 out of 10 times they won't be expecting it and they won't tech it for the easy, consistent kill. At higher levels, the tech is much more likely, but even if it is teched, the tech in and of itself can be punished with proper timing. Practice this, it's an excellent tool. Another option you can do as well if you can get good at ledge grabbing from the platform, which is to run off the edge and instantly push the other direction to instantly ledge grab, his down air spike and his back air can both be used effectively with the right timing here. This is not the safest option, so use this selectively. Cloud's ledge trap game, however, is excellent. He's got something to punish every option. If the opponent jumps, Cloud can cross slash, limit cross slash, neutral air, back air, forward air for a spike. If the opponent rolls, Cloud can cross slash, limit cross slash, finishing touch, down smash, F smash. If they get up attack, Cloud can dash attack, F smash, cross slash, limit cross slash, blade beam, limit blade beam, F tilt. If the opponent backs off the stage and jumps in with an aerial, Cloud can F smash, cross slash, limit cross slash, F tilt. If the opponent stands up, Cloud can grab and throw them back off to reset the ledge trap. These options can all be done on reaction or even just by reading the opponent. Keep an eye on their habits, go off the edge. If they roll a lot, have that down smash ready to send them right back off the stage. If they jump a lot, have that forward air spike ready to ruin their day. This isn't something I was originally planning to go over, but thinking about it, this may be an important thing to mention. This is my opinion, but based on my experience. Cloud needs platforms. Battlefield in particular is where I shine. The platform up top keeps the up B safe, the platforms on the side set up for a finishing touch every now and then, or even the ability to run off one of the side platforms and land the fastest back air possible to catch opponents off guard. In my opinion, Battlefield is the single best stage for Cloud. I would avoid Final Destination whenever possible. If Cloud is dealing with a zoning style opponent on that open stage, it can make it very difficult to get in. Stages like Battlefield, Pokemon Stadium 2, Town and City are all good for Cloud. So the matchup section isn't necessarily going to be out how to beat these matchups, but just to point out his bad ones that you may want to switch against, as there just isn't enough competitive cloud play to really judge. So take what I say here with a grain of salt, because I may just have more issue with the character than you do. Shulk is in my opinion Cloud's worst matchup. He outranges Cloud enough to keep us out, and he makes it extremely hard to get in. I have not found an effective strategy to consistently beat a good Shulk. Follow the game plan and keep him out, as hard as that may be, if he gets off stage, Cloud is dead. Simple as that. We do hit harder than him, and if we can play safe and not give him the chance to land these big smash hits, it's our best option. Limit all risks with Shulk, otherwise he will absolutely destroy you. To counter Shulk, I'd recommend a Link, Young Link, or a character that can zone him out. 
Shulk's up B is extremely punishable by Link's remote bombs, which is why I'd say Link is a good option personally. Donkey Kong isn't necessarily a bad matchup for Cloud, just an annoying one. At fairly low percentages, he can kill confirm with just a throw. The key to DK is to simply not let him grab you. Always stay safe, space the fares, bears well enough to not get grabbed from them and you should be okay. Pikachu and Pichu. These guys can be another rough one for Cloud. The same rules apply, don't let them get Cloud off stage or it's as good as over. Cloud does overpower them and has limit blade beam to catch a bad thundershock which can kill either of them at fairly low percentage at the edge. A very important key is to avoid chasing off stage at all costs. Even just getting clipped by their recovery teleport can be enough to end Cloud. I wouldn't switch to counter the Pikas, Cloud can handle them with his better range and high power, you just need to play smart. Alright and I think that about covers it. I really wanted to take all the things I've learned with Cloud and make a better guy than I ever have, so I hope this helped out some aspiring Cloud mains out there. If there's anything I didn't cover or anything unclear, drop a comment below and I'll gladly answer if I can. This is Tom, TGTKai, that gamer Tom, whatever you guys want to call me, I will see you next time.